Hey guys, Chris Bell, Comic Book University, and Edge of Veniverse, issue number two. Alright, this one was better. This one was better, I know I didn't give such a great review to the last one because it didn't make any sense. It didn't fit into the continuity, and I'm all about continuity. Well, this one indicates that this is all the what-if alternate reality realm. Okay, that's a little different, okay? With the whole Spider-Verse thing... That actually happened. With Spider Island, that actually happened. With all these different, you know, like Secret Empire, this is all actually happening. <laughs> right? So, if you're going to have an alternate reality kind of what-if scenario that is a, a an event, could you at least say so? <laughs> all right? Like, man, my thumbs keep cracking. Anyway, like, <laughs> would it be so hard to do like it did? This This should have been issue number one. That's what I'm suggesting here. This should have been issue number one, because then we'll understand, we'll get it. Okay, you don't have to look at this in continuity. This is just a fun little issue where we're doing some fun things and whatnot. It's like a like the Marvel Zombies thing. You know what I'm saying? You, when you first get Marvel Zombies, you start wondering, hey, what's going on here? But then you realize right away, this is an alternate universe. This is not quite so easy to realize. So I guess it took Gwenpool to give us that. So Gwenpool... Uh, basically is running around. I don't know how she got the Venom symbiote, but she's got it. <laughs> and I don't care because it's an alternate universe. So she's going out and she's beating up these bad guys. And then she comes across uh, Daredevil. She's working at this job with this bad dude who's uh, who's putting toxins in, in water supplies or whatever the hell he's doing. Something along those. It doesn't really matter because this is an alternate universe. Anyway, so Daredevil shows up. He's a whole lot younger than he really should be, and it doesn't really matter because it's an alternate universe. You get my point, right? <laughs> so all these really cool things happen. The, the ninja hands show up, and there's a beating there. And at the end, it's like, you know, okay, well, you had to kill your boss, but it was by accident. But it's okay. It's still kind of cool. And then Daredevil leaves. All of a sudden, Daredevil appears immediately, like, above her on the rooftop. He says, hey, why don't we instead go and patrol the rooftops together? And she's like, okay. He's like, hey, come around this corner really quick first. And, oops, <laughs> I guess uh, she gets killed, eaten, whatever, something to that effect. Something really bad happens. And then the real Daredevil shows up, it's, and he's got the paper that she initially had. Um, it's a whole story. you got to read the story. And uh, the, the whole reason why I'm saying this is because I want it to be understood because I actually looked online and there are other people who are confused and I saw this as pretty easy, which is fine. I get confused in comics sometimes too and I need to look up and see what's going on. But yeah, basically the real Daredevil shows up afterwards and says, oh, hey, maybe we should hang out. Oh, hey, where'd you go? <laughs> so yeah, some alternate universe Daredevil showed up. So alternate universe in an alternate universe. Interesting. Anyway, guys. I'm going to give this a B plus. I had a lot of fun reading this book. It was very enjoyable. And I know that it's an alternate universe. So now I'm assuming that the entire Edge of and, and Actual Venomverse, so Edge of Venomverse and Venomverse Actual, there you go, uh, that they will actually be um, in an alternate universe. Okay, cool. That is perfect. I'm very happy to hear that. Now, now I can move forward with this comic and actually have fun with it. All right, guys. Professor Bell, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.